I'm not gonna tell you to go and get it illegally. Uh, that would be bad. <laughs> but if you can't buy the game anymore, you kind of got to do what you got to do. Oh my god. Dude. That was an impact right there. Hey everybody, what is up? How's it going? It's me Marcus back here in Infinite Air. It's been a while since I've played this game, but this is one of my favorite snowboarding games ever. It's so much fun, and I'm sure it's a brand new game to a lot of you guys. Uh, a lot of you guys are new around here. So I want to kind of give the backstory of this game before I get those comments that I know are coming where people are telling me that Steep is better than this game. So I want to get into it, and I'll explain it as I'm playing. I do want to make one thing clear right off the start, though. This game is 100% customizable. These levels are 100% customizable. The entire mountain is customizable. You can drop features, rails, jumps. You can move the snow. You can pretty much do whatever you want to on these mountains. And I think that's really what sets this game apart. So the mountain that I am going to be riding today is a remake of the HB Studio Circuit Levels, which is the career mode parks, made by Happy Xenon and Neptune. Neptune has been making parks and mountains in this game for years. Uh, Happy Xenon is a new name, but um, I'm guessing he's been around for a while as well. But I'm going to be riding this park, and if you guys want to ride it, if you have Infinite Air, on any platform it doesn't matter pc playstation xbox just go into your mountain uh search your browse runs go to mountains and then go search for infinite and then go to page two and then on page two you'll see infinite air this is it and this is the mountain that i'm going to be playing when you spawn in you want to go down to the bottom here and then you'll see this pathway which takes you over to another mountain and again all of this is customizable Everything out here is customizable. It's pretty wild that this game really did not pick up a lot of traction. And I'll explain why here in a minute. There are a couple of reasons why this game did not get more popular. Um, but you'll come down here, you follow this road, and then you'll see the village here, and then you go up the mountain, and you'll see, when you zoom in, we have <laughs> massive terrain parks all through here. And again, all of this was put here it was all put here by people that play the game. You can come in and create this, and then you can play it. Um, this was not put here by the developers. This was put here by regular people that bought the game and play it. Everything that you see out here, all the lift towers, lifts, snow cats, cabins, rails, jumps, features, the way the snow right here has been moved was made by someone. Someone came in here and edited this mountain. They modified it in the game with in-game tools and they did this which is why I think this game is so cool because there is no other snowboarding game out there that has this level of creativity and customization when it comes to the levels so I'm gonna ride from the top down show you guys a little bit of backcountry riding and then uh, we'll get down to the park riding which the park riding is where this game shines backcountry's tight but park riding is definitely um, the top tier when it comes to this game I think try and ride down the ridge line. I haven't played in a while, so I'm gonna be super, super rusty, but hopefully I can make it happen. So, let me explain why this game, in my opinion, did terrible when it comes to the release of it. Um, and that all has to do with the game Steep. So Steep came out right around the same time this game did. And this game was made by a small company called HB Studios, um, and they really did not market this game well at all. Um, I did not even know that this game was coming out when it was coming out. I found out because someone told me. And it came out again right around the same time Steep did, and Steep just kind of crushed it when it came to the marketing. And Steep was made by a huge company. This game was not. So this game kind of got overshadowed by Steep. The difference in this game and Steep is this game was geared more towards the customization of the mountain, which is what I was explaining which is my favorite feature of this game and a feature that no other snowboarding game has. Uh, Steep doesn't have mountain customization like this game. Not even close. I don't even think Steep has mountain customization at all. Steep's made by a bigger company. There's more to do in Steep. Uh, you have a lot more activities. But when it comes to the pure snowboarding aspect, I actually think this game wins. And I'm not saying Steep is bad because I think Steep is a great game. But this game has a crazy amount of dude this is sick can I make this oh no oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
not even close. This game has a crazy amount of customization and just ways you can get creative when it comes to the way you ride in this game. I really like that aspect of it. Another thing that this game does different compared to Steep, I need to go over further to the right, is the realism. Now you can play it unrealistic. What I'm doing right now is not realistic, but it's harder to land tricks in this game. You have to be a lot more precise. Oh, can I make this? Come on. Oh! <laughs> Made it happen. Made it happen. That was sweet. Yeah, the backcountry riding in this game is really fun too. It's just kind of crazy how big these mountains are. But when it comes to it, I like this game from the snowboarding aspect of it, mainly because you have all this customization when it comes to mountains and so much different terrain to ride, and you can make up whatever you want. I'm gonna get down here and ride the parks now. I think there are two main parks. There's this one and then there's one, I can turn it around, up over that, over that hill over there. So now that I've kind of explained the backstory on Infinite Air and kind of the situation behind this game, um, if any of you guys are interested in checking it out and buying it, unfortunately, it was taken off of all of the digital stores. So you can't pick it up on Steam, you can't pick it up on the PlayStation Store, you can't pick it up on the Xbox Store. You can only pick up physical copies, or if you're on PC, you can probably find one of those like sketchy websites to buy the game from. Um, but I mean, at the end, or I mean, at the end of the day any way that you can get it I mean if you know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you to go and get it illegally uh, that would be bad <laughs> but if you can't buy the game anymore you kind of got to do what you got to do but there are physical copies out there I'm sure if you go to a GameStop you'll probably be able to find a copy of this game online you'll probably be able to find a copy of this game if you're playing on uh, PlayStation or Xbox I think there are copies out there still. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think they're making any more copies. But it's a great game to pick up. Probably pretty cheap if you're an action sports fan at all. If you like skateboarding games, uh, if you like snowboarding games, I'd say pick it up. I think this game is great. I played it a whole lot back when when it first came out. I was making content on this game. There's a little bit of some wonkiness. I was making content on this game back when it first did come out. Um, and I love it. I, again, as a snowboarder, I think this game is absolutely amazing. I'm going a little bit too big for this park. And you can really, like, fine-tune your riding. Like, if you want to... If you want to go really fast through the whole park like I did right there, you can. Or if you want to speed check and go slower and uh, hit everything a little bit more methodical, you can do that as well. And then when you're done with the run, you can just go back up to the top. And the game, like, it had some legit sponsorships, man. Like, Mark McMorris, which is like, the dude's one of the best snowboarders ever. Um, he was the, the guy that was featured in the game, and then Red Bull was on board, Oakley was on board, uh, I think Burton was on board as well, I think there are a few Burton boards in here. So like, some legit companies were on board with the game, it's just the marketing, man. I'm telling you, the marketing was not there for this game. I don't know what the developers are thinking when it came to developing such a good game for snowboarding. It, it's, I don't want to say a snowboarding simulation but it's pretty close. Like it, it's kind of like a good combination <laughs> between a simulation and an arcade style game. I would say steep is the arcade side. And then if any of you guys know about the snowboard game, that's more of the simulation side. This is like right in the middle. And again, if you want to do like ridiculous backcountry runs where you're, you know, jumping 500 feet down rock cliffs, you can do that. Or if you want to come in here and ride park, like what I'm doing, you can come in here and do that. There are different challenges and stuff too within the game. Um, there's different like career challenges. Oh, that was crazy. I kind of like pre-jumped it. But you see, like you have to be precise with your tricks or you'll land sideways and slam. There are also a good handful of pro riders in the game that you unlock through challenges as well. Um, and the multiplayer is pretty good too. I don't know if the servers are still online. They 
might not be, so I don't want to guarantee multiplayer because I'm not sure if they're still <laughs> online. But uh, at one time, the multiplayer was good. If you plan on getting this game for multiplayer, double and triple check and see if the servers are still up. Got a storage container right here. Oh, kind of popping off to the side. And that's the coolest part about this game. Like, there are a couple of um, parks made by, like, the developers of the game. And then there's, like, a Red Bull Park 2 that was made later on. I think the developers put that one out. But 95% of the content in this game when it comes to parks and, and trails to ride, it's all made by people in the game that play the game and make parks. Oh, that was sick. So I'm going to try and drop in and maybe <laughs> maybe hit this rock down here and send it all the way to the bottom again this is the unrealistic side of the game you have the realistic side where <laughs> where you hit rocks and slam uh, <laughs> and then the train parks that's the realistic side and then you have the unrealistic side where you can just send it all the way to the bottom of the mountain oh man I jumped too early Oh no, that thing is jumpable. Oh my god. Dude. That was an impact right there. Ah, there it is. Am I going to go far enough? Oh yeah. Oh, now I'm going to slam. <laughs> Alright, let me go ride this other part. Right here under the lift tower, starting out up top. And again, these parks, these guys that make these parks, and in this case, Neptune and uh, Happy Xenon, they, they really add the detail, and they really make sure these things have a ton of variety. I mean, <laughs> there's, there's a lot to ride out here. I mean, you can just hit so many different lines. And that's what I like about it so much, is you can come out here, and you can ride, and just do trick after trick and never hit the same line twice. It's just such a fun game and again when you link up tricks it's really satisfying. If you like the skate, the skate games, that series, you'll probably enjoy this game. Not so much for the story mode. Again, if you're looking for a game for the story mode, this is not it. Steep definitely has this game beat when it comes to story mode and then variety of, you know, things to do in the game. Uh, like with the, the paraglide and, and the skis, snowboards, sleds. This game doesn't have all that stuff. This game just has snowboarding. Um, but if you're looking for something that has the crazy park customization, that was huge. I landed kind of sideways. Um, this game has it. I mean, it has the park customization for sure. And, and more of the realism aspect. This game definitely has that to it as well. Let's see, let's go down the left hand side. I'm gonna do one more run through here. The this game, it's really easy to um, make my videos really long because again, I can just come out here and just do run after run and never never feel like I hit the same thing twice. I feel like I'm missing something. And that's how these videos normally are a little bit of the longer variety. I probably could have transferred into that quarter pipe there. Oh no. Oh no. I took a back seat. <laughs> I landed all the way to flat. I thought I was thought I was done. I sent that one really deep. You are on Swago today. Let's see, can I actually hit this correctly? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that was clean. So it looks like we can go left or right. I'm gonna go right. Looks like there might be some jumps. No, we just have some more boxes. See, this is a gap to rail. Yeah, a gap to rail. Oh, it's a down rail too. Then you have... <laughs> You've got a cannon rail like that that I completely screwed up. You can do butters. You can do nose presses, tail presses, face plants. All right. <laughs> it's all on the menu in this game. 
and you can manipulate the physics too. I think you can do like butters off of uh, off of jumps. And it's just really cool the creativity that this game has. It's so sick, so sick. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, so good. This game, dude. I'm telling you guys, it's so good. This video is probably not gonna do as well. My infinite air videos normally don't, but if you guys watched this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support on the channel. That was the cleanest switchback three I think that I could have done right there. <laughs> Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Hit the like video if you haven't done so. And I'm out of here. I'll see you guys all again in the next video. Have a good one.